I always knew that sex was an energy and I had this, I didn't know what to do with it. So I just kind of repressed it because that's what I was taught and I didn't want to commit a moral sin, you know? I studied with a Native American shaman, teachers from India and everything I could read about it. And of course, experimented as much as I could in my personal life with many women as I could get to play with me. I knew that sexuality had a really big spiritual component. And if you've ever said, oh God, I'm coming, um, you know you were having a spiritual experience. Right. For sure on Sunday, we block out a two to three hour period where we get involved in our sexuality. We, we're not having sex like porn stores, you know, deeper, harder, faster. <laughs> as much. <laughs> but you're, you're getting into the spirit of it, the passion, the love. Oh, yeah. Most people are governed by this physical, sexual and lost the intimacy. So you go beyond the physical and this, this is the sacred divine. The magical is the sacred and divine of sexuality. You're going beyond the physical. So you're not looking at that person's physicality. Now, when you talk about the woman having to coach the man and having this sexual communication in the bedroom, out of the bedroom, asking your partner for what it is you need, what it is you desire more of, a lot of men tend to have this sort of shield of, of, of an ego and, and a woman are afraid to tap into them because they may get insulted. They're not a good performer in the bed. And this is the big ego thing for men being a performer. They shut down and withdraw. And uh, I'm sorry, it's so true. I mean, oh. it's true. And I know from experience dating. So sometimes the woman has to just be quiet. And then how do you learn and teach each other? That's why they need to sit with you, read your book, or, or go to a class and learn how that it's okay to be vulnerable. So you get him talking about what he thinks he's doing that makes him so great. And you went, oh, yeah, I really love it when you do that. Would you like to know something I like to do? If he says no, uh oh, you better run. <laughs> you better get your get your attorney. <laughs> and say, this ain't this ain't gonna happen. Foreplay is all about the woman, because if her arousal is not high enough, she's not gonna have magical sex. He comes and, first, right? Oh, thank you for saying that. There's a whole chapter in the book about men's orgasm training and how you can learn to have a more powerful orgasm and sustain orgasm. And a lot of men don't even know that they can have multiple orgasms and non-ejaculatory orgasms. So there's a lot of that in the book as well. Mm. Get, get naked and start fooling around. The magic, and there it is, the magical sex book is just your introduction to all of this newness now in your life for all the couples out there.